Welcome back on this Friday morning. So we do have some wet roads. We are starting off with a little rain, but it's been tapering off and it's still pushing through the eastern counties of the UP. Here's a look at the satellite radar loop imagery. So this morning, be mindful. It might take you a little extra time as those roads will likely be slippery. Here's what's happening. There's a frontal boundary that's passing through the region, bringing in the rain. Also for areas downstate. So if you're traveling across the Mackinac Bridge, you'll also encounter the rain there. High pressure will move in behind the frontal boundary, so we will have clearing occurring throughout the day. But right now it's very light scattered rain showers for the interior areas up Iron Dickinson and southern portions of Marquette County. Now it's become a little bit more steady across portions of northern Schoolcraft County and eastern Alger County, including spots of Luce County. You can see the intensity is a little bit darker here. This is west of 77, west of Grand Marais. So that's pushing into Grand Marais this morning. Again, no major concerns. This moves out here 1030 in the morning. Here we go for the afternoon. Winds pick up a little bit, becoming breezy. Small chance for spotty rain tonight in the east. Otherwise, dry for Saturday and sunny and then dry again on Sunday. Temperatures today, upper 40s to low 50s north, and then we have mid 50s in the south with isolated upper 50s. Here's a look at the weekend. If you have plans to do any trick or treating, Tomorrow afternoon looks really good. We're expecting upper 40s to the lower 50s, sunny and dry and not bad either for Sunday, a little bit milder, pushing towards the upper 50s. We continue with the 50s into early next week, but here's the alert to very much needed, potentially soaking rain for next week. We have chances for daily rain all the way through next week. So it kind of starts off Monday afternoon, small chance for afternoon thunder showers, and then it ramps up for Tuesday afternoon afternoon with this frontal boundary. What I will say is it's a slow moving front, which is why it will yield rounds of rain over a span of several days. So this is Tuesday afternoon, best chance across the northern UP and near Lake Superior. And then a lot of moisture moves in on Wednesday. That's why I'm calling Wednesday the rainy day. It'll feel uh, very wet and cold out on Wednesday as that front pushes through the region. It looks like we'll have rain in the morning, afternoon, extending into the evening with some lingering rain showers on Thursday, followed by colder air moving in behind the front. So once that happens, we could have the potential of some snow mixing in Thursday night, but we are many days out as of right now, though, this is how it's trending. This would be really good news for us, so stay tuned for the updates. Today's pets waiting for forever homes are at Hope Animal Shelter in Ironwood.